<laughs> Actually, <laughs> like like a 15 minutes ago, Natalia asked me a question. Uh, Yarek, Yarek, you, you've been uh, one of the founders of the coalition, yeah. and it was like, I was like like. It was my fucking idea to have this coalition. I mean, what you're talking about? <laughs> this story. So probably this story <laughs> was <laughs> never, n never. Uh, 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 but uh, but I, I. So actually, yes, I was. <laughs> I was <laughs> one of the founders, and you may recognize other familiar faces on this photo. Uh, yes, we've been uh, younger and somewhat slimmer, but, <laughs> and we, yes, we had more hair, but not, <laughs> but uh, other than that. But, so, uh, so well, let me tell you the story of, uh, of um, how, how, how this happened for me. Yeah, and uh, I, I will start with the, like personal story. So it's, imagine a year 2006. Are you there? 2006. So it's the year 2006 and I'm a journalist. So that means that I'm making a lot of money in a very successful industry uh, at the peak of its power. <laughs> and we have, we have no smartphones. I mean, there is a Blackberry, but it doesn't do internet really. And, uh, and iPhone is a year ahead and Android is two years ahead. And, um, uh, and I'm hanging out uh, with Internet Society Poland people, because those are um, like the only ones in, 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 in Warsaw who are actually thinking about the impact on the, of the Internet on the society, which is really interesting for me because I'm, I'm, covering, in, 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 uh, uh, I'm covering the digital culture and, um, uh, in, in, in my newspaper. So I'm hanging and... and uh, there is like an accident. I mean, uh, there is a conference in the United States uh, organized by Free Software Foundation, and uh, and and the person who was meant to go there actually cannot go because of the some family things, and and I'm the only one, and I I, I know nothing about free software or anything, and I, but I am the only one who can get a, an American visa in three days because I'm a journalist and they have a fast track for journalists. So I go to this conference and I'm you know and I, I meet all those. All those beautiful people like Richard Stallman and 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 Ibn Moglen and and there is like a question and answer uh, like a like a discussion with Ibn Moglen, and Ibn Moglen says, "We have won, the free software has won," and like, what this guy is talking about? I mean, the Microsoft is still the biggest company in, in in the world and Bill Gates is the, the, the richest person in the world and the, 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 the you know that the grip the Microsoft has on the computers on our files and, and everything is it, it's you no know, it's it's iron I mean and, and he's talking about they, they have won how how of course he was right I was I was uh, uh, the, the, the free software won um, and not in a way even Moglen wished it to, to to win, but but yes, it did. And and uh, but someone asked the question. So what's the next big next big thing? And Ibn Moglen says, education. So I'm going back to Poland, and I'm thinking, education. Yes, <laughs> yes. What can we do about it? Like you know, maybe we can we can we can we can like like those people writing free software. Maybe we can try to write textbooks like that, I mean, and release them under free license, and so everyone can, you know, um, you know, use it and, 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 and adapt it to its needs, and you know, it's an interesting idea, and I wrote an article uh, for my newspaper about it, and, um, and then I said, okay, I mean, I'm really fed up with all these journalists, like, let's start and make a foundation to actually make those textbooks happen, and it was so, in, in late 2006, I started the Modern Poland Foundation, and sure enough, in 2007, <laughs> I was invited to Cape Town to draft <laughs> the Cape Town Declaration because I was, you know, like one of the 29 people in the world who actually did something and 
did something, meant in my case, wrote an article and start the foundation, which still had no money and no products and no, I mean nothing. But it was it was <laughs> it was important enough to make me to make me invited to to Cape Town. So I'm coming back from Cape Town. It was it was it was September 2007. That's uh, that's we 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 start we published the first version of very small, very primitive internet library. Uh, which uh, now uh, the, the library uh, now is the most popular library in Poland, six million users per year. I mean, it's the biggest foundation project for. I mean, back then I, I thought it just you know a little bit a little step towards the free textbooks. And so and I, I'm I'm running around and I'm trying to make you know people interested and I I, I was. And so the, the the four people interested, I mean five people interested, um, was uh, Alec uh, who was uh, starting Creative Commons Polska uh, at the same time uh, was um, uh, Tomek Ganic from uh, Polish Wikipedia. We just started and and uh, 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 and Basia. <laughs> From librarians, uh, 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 librarians association. I, I'm I actually <laughs> librarians association was ex expelled from coalition from <laughs> for, for being not not really you know not really working toward open educational resources. So so that was so uh, that was December two thousand seven, and so um, uh, 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 and uh, that's. Uh, previous, the, the not, not, not this year, the, 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 I couldn't find a photo from, from this year coalition meeting, but it was two years ago. As you can see, the coalition meeting like grew, grew up a little bit. Uh, now, so it's 10 years, 39 organizations, seven summits. This is how much I, I counted, actually. I, I'm, not, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure that the number seven is like 100%. Um, um, Right. I mean, so, 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 so it's so after ten years. Yes, we do have some experience, and uh, oh, this is blah blah blah. I mean, you all know that. Uh, so, what's interesting uh, is uh, what's interesting is is um, that uh, we are we we define the area of our interest pretty wide. I mean, it's not only open educational resources. It's also public domain, and it's open access. And uh, we are trying to be umbrella organization for all, all those topics which are related to access to knowledge and, uh, and, and reuse of the knowledge. And, and you want to, to support organizations who, who want to, to, to introduce open educational resources policies, and, and um, we want to promote public policies uh, in all those free areas and and I think that was like very 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 good idea I mean if you if you are gathering the people and you are trying to make an impact make your umbrella wide and um, because uh, uh, this allows you to engage more people uh, uh, if you are too sectarian and you know too narrow-minded uh, you, 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 you will just left out too many, too many, too, 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 too many people, and, and you will fail to make an impact. So, so the three areas we work uh, on we, we, in the coalition or leadership, we are training people. It's, I mean, it's not hundreds. At this point, it's thousands of people who get through, and some of them are <laughs> here on 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 uh, in this room who who started their 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 adventure with open educational resources in our trainings and half of those people was trained by one person which is Kamil Śliwowski and the other half <laughs> uh, uh, by uh, by other trainers uh, but we are trying to 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 train everyone we can we can we can we can we can we can uh, we can read. And other is policy. Policy kind of uh, interesting because Natalia said, "I'm going to tell you a success story." I'm sorry, it's 
uh, we are not really successful. I mean, we probably if you, if you if you attend open educational resources conferences and you know open educational resources forums, you probably heard of that Poland is really advanced and you know we got like a like a like official public policy for open edu educational resources. This is just half of the story, because and th this is the lesson I think I think we still are kind of. Um, how to say that we are not, we are still chewing on it. We, we it's it's not yet swol swollen. That's swallowed. swallowed. Okay, sorry, sorry for <laughs> sorry for my English. And um, so uh, so so yes, we did have. Yes, 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 we did have like a like a huge project, uh, which uh, uh, government ran. Uh, 50 million water, which is like 12 million euro, uh, and uh, in this project, the the, the 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 free textbooks have been written and made available on the web. The only problem was that, from the perspective of the of the of the policymakers, it wasn't a project open educational resources project. It was a modernization project. It was the project to make. Teachers use technology in schools, and it was complete failure. I mean, the uptake of those resources is close to zero. Why? Because, despite what we've been, uh, we've, we've been, we've been, we've been, um, Rajili, advised, advising, uh, they forgot to make those textbooks printable. And no teacher is crazy enough to rely on technology, you know, like 100% time. I mean, because shit happens. And, and if you are a responsible teacher, you always think about backup. So textbooks without printable version are not going to make it today and tomorrow and five years from now, maybe 10, maybe 20 or never. So. And and you know what? Like a few months ago, they called me from the from the from the from the organization, which is like overlooking this project, and they said, you know, like teachers don't use those textbooks. And yes, I said yes. And they said, you know, we have 50 million zloty, like twice the, the you know, like again the, the the same amount to 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 make teachers use those materials. What you advise? And I said, like prepare the printable version. And they said, no, 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 we cannot use the money this way. We'll make teachers training to tell them they need to use the electronic version. And they said, yes, you, you will waste 50 million water. And this is what they are exactly doing right now. <laughs> so see you next year, we will tell you uh, uh, if I was right or wrong about, about the uptake, I, I, I think we are going to nowhere. So, so the lesson, I think for everyone is if you are selling open educational resources, sell open educational resources. If you are trying to, 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 to sell like new, new teaching methodology or new model for the school or, 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 uh, or distributed ledgers, you will fail with the core idea of open educational resources. That's for sure. I guarantee you. It, I mean, whenever we, we've been trying to connect the idea of open educational resources to something else, we failed miserably, because because they took the you know the other part and forgot our what what we we thought was important. So so yeah, and self help. We the the coalition works as a as a as a as a network of people, not only organization of people, which yes which help each other. And this is probably the most important part, the most important reason to set up a coalition in your country too. Thank you.